If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle putting the wow in transmogs. Straight out of Isle Expeditions are the Shoulders Hydraxian Mantle. But I would suggest you just step up and buy it on the auction house because it's very, very difficult to isolate and try to pick those shoulders up as a drop. Moving on, we have the Royal Moonshroud Robe. Wrath of the Lich King level tailoring. Check your local tailor, check your local auction house to get that old gorgeous robe that really works for priests here. We have a... I was going to say a Void Elf, but they, they look the same. The Void Elves are just kind of dipped in blue. The Night Hold is where we get the Antiquated Highborn Cinch, 16% on the drop rate. Moving on, we are going to show you the Feet, Bluegill Sandals, Wetlands, Bluegill Puddle Jumpers, drop it, and we got about a 5% drop rate. I think you could buy it on the Auction House as well. The nightborn lady is stepping up and showing you the satin gloves of injustice mythic hellfire citadel 14 percent on the drop rate doing the spin moving on we're going to show you the cape or the back spore soaked veneer which is out of slave pens quig mirin is the boss 10 percent on the drop rate for the kind of pale blue cape and we have a dwarf or should i say dark iron dwarf showing you the grievous gladiators moon cloth helm if you're alliance it's grievous if you're horde it's prideful two marks of honor i believe that's three marks of honor that's a boo-boo and the weapon is straight out of dragon soul lfr version elementian fragment as you can see it's called the steps of time This set is very, very simple, but it works. It really works. Siege of Ogremar, Sun, Tenderheart, 15% on the drop rate to get the shoulders out of Mist of Pandaria land. And the chess piece, which is the Valorous Robe of Faith, Nex Ramus, 25 man, normal mode, Bluth is the boss, 14% on the drop rate. So there's a little bit of Mop and a little bit of Wrath of the Lich King. The belt. Siege of Ogremar, Malkorok is the boss, 14% on the drop rate to get the Skull Belt, which just really, really works with that robe. Moving on, the feet, linen boots, very, very simple to get. Vanilla level tailoring, buy it on the auction house, find a tailor, take it like 20 seconds. 20 seconds, I swear, that easy. Moving on, we're going to show you the hands, Grievous Gladiators, Mooncloth, Gloves, if you're Alliance, if you're Horde, it will be Prideful, three marks of honor or two marks of honor to get the gloves, not exactly sure. Moving ahead, the back cloak of Arcane Evasion, which is BC level tailoring. Check your local tailor or your local auction house to pick up the cloak. And we have a Lady Blood Elf showing you the headpiece, which is out of High Mall, Cargath, Blade Fist, 18% drop rate to pick up that headpiece. And the last piece is a staff, which is straight out of Temple of Sethralis. There's the boss, kind of a low drop rate to get that cool looking staff. Orange and a purplish blue. Well, I think works for Shadow Priest. Definitely works for Shadow Priest. The Eternal Palace Mythic to get the shoulders, not easy, but Eventually, as we progress forward, it'll get easier and easier. Trust me on that. The chess piece is straight out of Siege of Ogremar Mythic, which is a lot easier than Mythic in the current tier of BFA. Fuck. The Bloodthirsty, 24% on the drop rate. Lady Nightborn showing you the belt. Vita Binder Wrap. Throwing a Thunder, Heroic, Cache of Storms, 14% on the drop rate to pick up the belt. Moving on, Lady Nightborn's going to stay with us. The feet, spider silk boots, vanilla level tailoring. Check your local tailor, check your local auction house to get the boots. And we have a dude uh, orc of the Magthor clan, the Eternal Palace Mythic. Queen Ajara drops the hand pieces, which are part of the same tier set as the shoulders. The back, the great cloak of the Dark Pantheon. The Burning Throne, Agrimar is the boss, and 8% on the drop rate to pick up the cloak. And we have a Lady Worgen showing you the headpiece, which is straight out of the Sunwell Plateau. Gotta fight your way all the way to kill Jaden, 15% on the drop rate for 
the headpiece. And the last piece is the weapon, which is straight out of Black Rock Foundry. Black Hand drops it 17% on the drop rate for the staff. Initially, I saw this set on a dude blocking a mailbox in Stormwind, and I just loved it. Frostwind Mantle drops from Isle Expeditions or Treasure Maps. Best bet, though, step up, buy it on the auction house. Now, the chess piece is the Tunic of Smoldering Iron, Neltharian's Lair, Dark Rule is the boss. Kind of a fair drop rate. There's also a robe if you don't feel like farming the uh, legs, so you could go that route as well. Antiquated Highborn Cinch, the Nighthold. As you can see, the boss, 16% on the drop rate to pick up the cinch. Moving on, we're going to show you the legs, which are a drop out of a Legion dungeon. Dungeons called the Vault of Wardens. Ashcolm is the vault, is the boss. Kind of a low drop rate, but, you know, it's a dungeon. You could do it over and over if you feel like it. And we have a Lady Undead showing you the Frostwind Gloves, Isle Expeditions, or Treasure Map. And it's buyable on the auction house. The headpiece is the Frostwind Cal. Forget about the Burning Throne. That's a typo. Huge typo, I know. But the headpiece, the gloves, and the shoulders are all uh, from the Isle Expeditions as well as the feet, which means you can buy them on the auction house. We have a Zandalari Troll showing you the dark leather cloak. Vanilla level leatherworking, or you could just step up, buy it on the auction house. And the offhand is your default artifact from the priest order order hall and of course the weapon is the default artifact for priest out of your order hall from legion kicking things off a thousand gold and you can buy the frost kiss shoulder wraps from the shadow pan assault quartermaster probably need friendly or honored rep out of town long steps that's where they're located or you could farm this piece out of throne of thunder the robe you're gonna have to head over to the sandy dunes of oldham the curse of the tombs it's a quest reward from that old kata zone moving on we're going to show you the belt abandon zondalari fire cord throne of thunder various mobs kill 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 them all maybe you get the belt kind of a little drop rate but you kill a lot of things maybe you get it the feet lady Dassy Dillions, uh, say that five times really fast. You probably can't, because I certainly can't. Portal Keeper Hassabel, 5% on the drop rate to pick up the feet, which you could certainly see a lot better on the Night Elf Dude. Throne of Thunder, Jink Ra, the Breaker, 6% on the drop rate for the Lightning Weaver Gauntlets, part of that same tier set as the shoulders. The back, Parrot Feather Cloak, Freehold, Sky Captain Crag, 11% on the drop rate, so that's straight out of BFA. Moving on, we are probably going to show you a Lady Troll and the headpiece, Flame Caster's Burning Crown. Throne of Thunder, hard on as the boss, 6% on the drop rate. And the offhand, which is straight out of High Mall, Cargeth Blade Fist, 18% on the drop rate, and the weapon, which is a dagger, and it is that also out of High Mall, as you can see, 12% on the drop rate for the dagger. We're going to spin you over to Dragon Soul from Cataclysm. Firelands Heroic, Mantle of the Cleansing Flame, 26% on the drop rate. Major Domo is the boss. Moving on, we're going to spin you up to... BFA, Uldir LFR, Robes of the Unraveler, Mithrix, the Unraveler, kind of a low drop rate from Uldir. Now we have a Lady Void Elf showing you the belt of surging hysteria. The Burning Throne Mythic version, Varimathris is the boss. Love saying that, Varimathris is the boss. Kind of a low drop rate, eh, decent, 8%, not so bad. The feet, Volatile Walkers, Uldir, LFR version, Talik is the boss. So out of LFR, you're going to have to get the feet and the robe and the gloves, which we're going to show you on an undead dude. Uldir, LFR, Vectus is the boss, and kind of a low drop rate to pick up the gloves, but that's part of that cloth tier set out of LFR. Looks very priestly, very priestly like Dispriest. It says Dispriest to me. Fetid Horrors, Tangle Cloak, Uldir, LFR, Fetid Devourer, 10% on the drop rate for the cloak. And we have a Lady Troll or Zandalari Troll, Hood of Cleansing Flame, part of the same tier set as the Shoulders, Cash of the Fire Lord, Firelands Heroic. 
and last and certainly not least the weapon spring-loaded jaw staff out of hellfire citadel dia dark whisperer is the boss kind of a low drop rate but worth it if you're still listening up and until now i want to say thank you for watching and i'll close out by saying what i always say whatever it is by you whether it is morning afternoon or night make your day epic